Welcome back guys to another self-made vape video. I'm Jay. I'm Ian. I'm Mac. And today we're bringing you the Steam Crave Aroma Miser. So this is a um, RDTA? RDTA. Uh, I guess Rebuildable Dripping Tank Atomizer. Definitely Max Mod because he likes to deal with the complicated shit. Um, it's too many letters. Yeah, just too many. <laughs> so Mods now perks this. And uh, so uh, where'd you get it from? Uh, I got it through Vape Deals, but it was a deal through uh, Fast Tech with a coupon code. I paid about 28 bucks with shipping. So it's typically about 35 or higher. Um, prices will go down over time, but I got the coupon code 27 bucks out the door. And it took about, I don't China. know, 13 months or something like that. <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't 13 months. It was probably about three, four weeks, something like that. From China, we already verified it is authentic, at least from the website, or the Chinese have stepped the game, and they've got a one-on-one. -on -one. But either way, uh, so far, you know, it, we, it appears to be authentic, so we're good. So as you can see from the close-up, here's the packaging. We've got the uh, Aromamizer. It says Steam Crave logo on there. There's a little uh, diagram here. You see the RTA or RDTA side of the box. What is this? It says SC200. What is it, Lexus? <laughs> it sounds like a car. Hard top, drop top. What the yeah. hell? <laughs> All right, it says SC200 and two post deck. SC200? I have no idea what that means. Yeah, nobody does. Not in the Chinese. Steam, <laughs> Steam Crave. I guess it sounds cool, right? Yeah, Steam Crave. Ian Michael SC200. Ryan. Man, it's dope, right? Yeah, I got the SC200. <laughs> So in the back we have a uh, barcode, QR, uh, some words we don't like to read, <laughs> love on the side, and uh, love on the bottom, steamcrave.com. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see uh, exactly what's this. Let's see what's going on in there. Nice uh, open. Is that velvet? It is velvet. No. <laughs> <laughs> all plush. So this is for all the pimps out there. And we've got the <laughs> the RDTA, the uh, what looks to be a, a silicone ring. Let's go ahead and unbox some of this stuff. We've got this. I don't know what that is. That's uh, the uh, airflow control. That's the airflow. That is the airflow control. Yes, airflow control. All right. So we've got the RDTA itself, stainless steel with nice. another airflow control on it. Yeah, so you got backup air airflow controls just in case you guys are reckless. And lose them. Um, it's got a little uh, laser etching on it, and it says Aromamizer RDTA. Got some nice knurling at the bottom. Put this here. And what else we got in the box? So we got a little goodie bag. What's in the goodie bag? O rings, small ass coils. Are those? Co no, those are grub nuts. Sorry. And um, yeah, so grub nuts. We'll edit that out. O rings. We've got, what is this, Pyrex glass? What is this? Um, according to the website, it just says glass. So I'm going to go with glass. It doesn't say quartz. It doesn't say Pyrex. It says glass. So, so we got glass. Call it glass. And we've got a little Allen wrench in here. That's a con. Why so? To me, any mod that comes with a Allen key is just a con. I think if it doesn't take Phillips head or flat head, it's, it's a con. That's a personal thing, though, so... Subjective. Subjective. Clearly subjective. I don't, I don't like that. Con or not, it comes with this. <clears throat> so all the tools you need to build this thing. So if you don't have an arsenal of R uh, RTAs, RDTAs, whatever, it at least comes with it. If you've been vaping for three months and purchased more than two products, you already have an arsenal of what you need. True. You shouldn't have to get separate Allen keys. I just, I don't know. I don't like it. Whatever. Fair enough. Uh, you know, I've, I've got enough of those little um, screwdrivers that I can put them on eBay and sell them for nothing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, in fact, I'll probably have to pay people to take it from me. So we've got a little uh, manual in here. Let's see what this looks like. It's a user manual. One page. Very uh, simple and straight to the point. Precaution. Is it in a, what do they call it, Chingrish or Chingrish? <laughs> That's it's, racist. It's in English, but, um, oh, 
Nothing to worry about. So words. And we have, <laughs> Paragraphs, uh, sentences, yeah. verbs, and nouns. We've got this, which is just a little thing that says Steam Crave. And then, is there anything else? Nope. So there's what's in the box. And let's actually get down to this. So, granted, we have the goodie bag here, as you can see. Little Allen key, or Allen wrench, glass tank. And then we've got this little um, air adjustment thing that Max says. So here we have the standard, which I'm assuming is a 510 drip tube. At least it looks like it. So we'll yeah, it's spin. pretty standard. You can uh, you can throw another drip tip in there, but it has the uh, spit back protection, which I think is pretty cool. It's not the best drip tip, but I like the the spit back protection in there. Oh, okay, I, I like that. that. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's got the holes in the side, and actually the uh, like a just a blank on the bottom, so it doesn't allow you to directly inhale juice. It kind of channels it around it. Nice. So we have that, and then. Again, knurling, laser etching, stainless steel. Uh, it's got a nice, the nice uh, Steam Crave logo on the top. Let's go ahead and take this thing apart. So I'm gripping it from the top in the tank right here, unscrewing it. And there we have the deck. So it's a nice beefy deck. Yeah, it's a velocity, um, nice room to build on. It's a very solid deck. I, I'm impressed with that. I've Big surprise, I've, I've vaped on it already, so. Yeah, Matt can't wait. <laughs> so, velocity style deck. Uh, you can pretty much put your coals in, horizontal, or not horizontal. Yeah, horizontal? Yeah. yeah. Horizontal or vertical. I did vertical first time. Oh, you did? Yep, on Clapton's. Hmm. So, the deck it seems accessible. Uh, not too small, but it's not the biggest deck I've seen. But you know what? It works. And then this can slide off. Put this here. And then... Don't get them confused, those two black rings. Yeah, yeah they, they look very, uh, very Identical. similar. Yeah. So unscrew this. Actually, a lot of unscrewing. So let's go ahead and take this apart. So I just unscrewed the, the tank portion so you can separate it. We get the glass tank portion right there. So you get a replacement. Again, guys, great for those people that are careless. Or people around others that are careless and breaks it, cracks it, whatever. You have a backup, then you have time to order another one. That way you're not out for vaping. And then we have uh, what appears to be the, the channel for the, the vapor. And then uh, a nice solid O-ring. And you vaped on it. It doesn't look like there's any wear on this. So it looks like it's, it's, it's a well-made solid O-ring. Yeah, it seems uh, all the O-rings fit really tightly. Like it, it seems like it would be more difficult to replace them than anything. But yeah, they're in there tight. It seems to be machined very well. Yeah, this is a silky smooth. It's slick. There's no burrs. I mean, from what I could tell, they took time to uh, ensure that it was processed or manufactured very well. So so far so good. You know, it's solid build, solid construction. Not really fancy, but at the same time, simplicity is at its best. Does this top part unscrew? Let me see. Oh, uh, yes, it does. It's very tight, though, so... Okay, so this... Uh, Those gorilla fingers, you should be able to take care of that. A monkey pot. <laughs> so this top part unscrews, but for all practical purposes, there's really no reason I could see to unscrew it for cleaning. Agreed. Nothing? I don't see any reason to do it. For cleaning? It's staying on there. So we'll keep that as it, but just know that this top portion does unscrew from the, that uh, main part. And then we have uh, the bottom piece... Oh, or the part that attaches the tank. <coughs> so this has, um, are these the juice channels on the outside of it? Let me see. So all these parts right there? Uh, yes, exactly. The, uh, the juice, it's um, kind of a top to bottom fill. The juice falls through the sides. It fills up the bottom part of the deck, and then it goes up into the, uh, the, the deck area where your cotton should absorb it and wick. It's pretty complex. It's not unheard of but it's cool um i've used it i think i vaped on it about a week now i've never had a dry hit on it you know so that's one of the pros there's some cons that i've experienced so far but the uh the wicking method is really good it works so, well no dry hits i have not had a dry hit yet at what wattage i've gone up to about 50 i haven't done that's like solid. chain vaping at 50 but i've done 50 but i also use clapton coils and honestly my first time using clapton's was on this particular uh, product 
So I don't know if that would happen with regular Canthal or whatever it may be, but I, I went up to 50 and I vaped on it and it seemed to keep up with me. So, hmm. Well, that's a, that's a pro. Yeah, it's a pro. So here on the side, we have what appears to be air channels, right? Let me see. All the holes inside, so... Yes. Yeah, that's what that... Uh, that's what the uh, rubber ring is for. So this rubber yeah. ring is actually what allows for the adjustment. So let's go ahead and put this back on so folks can see. So to adjust the airflow, you essentially just move this rubber piece around. Let's go ahead and... It's probably difficult to do it like that. Yeah, it is very difficult to do. I don't know if I like this. So you essentially have this rubber or silicone piece on there, which looks like a bumper, but this kind of controls your airflow then. Yeah. So if you want to kind of taper off your airflow, you have to just move this and choke it off. Yep. I mean, I guess silicone seal allows for a very solid... Uh, a almost, very almost airtight. Yeah, know. solid, almost airtight connection. But at the same time, it it's not very. I'm not. I mean, I kind of like the aesthetic. I like the way it looks. The the black kind of offsets off the the stainless. I think that it looks good. But I, it almost makes me seem like it was like a lazy, last minute effort. They could have just made it a metal ring that you can twist. I don't. I don't get it. But like on any other tank. Yeah, it's <laughs> not bad. It's not a deal breaker for me, but. It almost seems like it was just an afterthought. But like, it also doubles as a bumper, you said? Yeah, like you can literally, because I, I keep my airflow wide open the whole time. I just slide it up on the glass and help protect the glass. That's what I use it for. I mean, I can see some pros and cons. The fact that it, it acts as a bumper, but it also allows for a complete seal. Whereas, you know, if you have a metal kind of sleeve on it that spins like a lot of our mods, it's going to allow for some airflow to get through. Whereas you have this uh, very malleable... A flexible piece that can actually serve as a complete seal. You know, I, I could see where they're going with this. And it comes with a replacement one, as you can see. So, subjective. Yeah, very subjective. Very subjective. But at the same time, it doesn't twist and turn as easily. So, for those of you that have like a preferred vaping, you know, experience and you know what you want, then it's fine. For those of you who like to always adjust, then maybe it's not for you. Kind of, it, 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 it's, it's, mind you, it's almost like rubber against steel or silicone against steel. It, it, it's rough. It's very firm to move. Proceed with caution. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, in my experience so far, it's, um, you know, I treat my, my tanks like coins in my pocket. You know, they end up wherever they end up in my pocket. I've pulled it out of my pocket several times and the, the ring is oblong and awkward. There's juice. You saw the other day at work when I spilt about half a tank worth of juice out just because oh, I, yeah. I set it on its side. That's a con, by the way. Because it's designed to be similar to a dripper. And maybe I didn't use enough cotton. Yeah, and that's you know, so maybe First build, Clapton's. Maybe I didn't use enough cotton, but I set it on its side mm -hmm. for maybe, what, five minutes? If that. If that. I picked it up, and I had this massive juice stain on my jeans and on the, the bench that I was sitting and at. And he so soiled himself. <laughs> it looked like I soiled myself. I didn't soil myself. He did. Promise. So that, that's a con in, in my eyes, but at the same it time, it is a con. It's definitely a con. If you're vaping, chances are you're not going to let it down on its side and allow it to do whatever it needs to do. I do that a lot though. Like I carry two tanks normally, and I will set one on the side, so that way it, I, I set it on the side. And you can't do that with this tank, in my experience so far. So we'll see. Yeah, and, and again, like Max said, maybe it's because he hasn't used enough cotton. Maybe it requires a lot more just to absorb all the extra juice or excess juice. But I do recall that there was a puddle. It looked like his R RDTA took a piss on itself. <laughs> so, yeah. For each, you know, for what it's worth, that's just something to note. But with the wicking you had... It vaped great. Yeah, it, it vapes great. Yeah, I mean, it was there was no issue with the wicking. It, it Again, I cranked it up to about 50 watts. I didn't go beyond that. It vaped well. Um, if you set it straight... You can fill the six milliliter capacity, and there's no leaking. There's no leaking if you're standing it up straight. Six mils. At the, I bought the six mil. There's also a three mil version. I got the six. So six mils, and what else does this come with? As far as just it, it you have to pre-built coils. No, I'm sorry. You have to do your own coils. You can't do pre-built, right? Yeah, it doesn't have any. As far as I know, there's no adapters for uh, OCCs or anything like that. It doesn't even come with the pre-wrapped coils, like a lot of the. Uh, Tanks come out with but these you, days. you prefer making your own coils. I prefer right? making my so it's that's fine with me. But yeah, there's no option for pre-rolled coils or anything like that. Not out the box anyway. 
So as you saw, the goodie bag didn't have any cools. I, I thought in the beginning it had some very small ones, but in fact it was actually grub nuts. So one thing to note is that this isn't for a novice vapor. In fact, it could be, but at the same time, that's expecting that you know how to how to make your own coils or purchase your own pre-made coils, and you can load them on or put them on a, a, a velocity style deck and build safely. You know, make sure that you know how to build safely. Your battery can handle the amps. Yeah, most definitely. So uh, you know what? At this point, we're gonna cut camera, allow Mac to do a quick build on it, vape on it, and see what the vapor production is. Get some final thoughts on taste, flavor, and uh, all that good stuff. So we'll be right back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, we recently did a video on the, the, what's the name of the product? The Creus? Yep, OBS. OB, OBS Creus, whatever. Uh, I bet in that video that mm. Ian would have a dry hit. And, and he did not. He did not have a dry hit. And I bet $5, and somebody commented, I don't remember the guy who commented, but, or the gal, guy or gal who commented, somebody said to pay up, I'm paying up, I'm a man of my word. This is nice. So guys, I Girls can pay rent money. and we can do more videos. <laughs> All right. $5, I start my own company. <laughs> yeah, forget these guys, I'm out. You're not going to see me in future videos, I'm good. $5, golden. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? We're going to take a quick uh, break. We're going to actually do a quick build on it, come back, let Mac vape on it, and see how it works. So we'll be right back. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. So we took a moment for Mac to do a quick build, and uh, you did Clapton, right? Did Clapton, yep. Yep. 26-gauge cord, 32 outer. outer. Canthal, Canthal, right? Canthal, Canthal. So Clapton build, dual coils. Uh, what did Elmat Bear with me. Before we crack this tank open, I have... This is my second can uh, Clapton build, so it's not the best, and it's a vertical coil, also new for me, so. Yeah, so we're about to see what happens. Bear with me. Don't judge. Or judge. Who cares? I'll, I'll judge. So, it's slightly filled already, but I'm going to show you guys how to fill it. So, we unscrew the top, the knurling piece right here. So, we pull it off, and here's Max build. So, as you can see, velocity deck, lots of room. Easy to build on. And easy to build on. It's easy to build on, but again, a vertical coil. Not really familiar with that. I've done it once on a KFIN 3.1 or something like that. It was a while ago when I did it. So yeah, I'm, I'm still getting used to it. It's not the prettiest looking coil. But it seems to be wicked. But well. it's smart and intelligent. And it works. So really, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be the prettiest as long as it works. And... Uh, Kind of like most marriages. But, uh, <laughs> so, here we have it. Dual Clapton. Ohmed out at... Uh, 0. 0.4644, 4, something like that. How many wraps? Six wraps. Six wraps, 0. 0.46, slightly under five. Or 0. 0.5, sorry. So here we have it. Really easy build, vertical. And so, let me put this down. In fact, here, let me hand this to you so you can put it on your... Or hold it, whatever. So here you can see the actual tank itself, already assembled. It's ugly. <laughs> it's really ugly. I'm sorry. It's ugly. I want to slap myself. <laughs> no beauty pageant here. <laughs> I digress. Yeah. Continue. Again. So here we have the, uh, the tank, or the top portion of the tank itself with the RTA. And to fill it, we're going to use some self-made or homemade juice. Mac has his creme de mint. And one thing to note is that this dropper style doesn't really fit too well, so what you have to do is kind of tilt it and let it kind of flow into the juice channel. So, or seep, if you will. Seep, yes. That's probably better use of terms. So we're just going to fill this. And how many mLs is that? Uh, it's a six mil tank. Six mil. So we'll see how long this takes. So it's not the end of the world. I mean, I actually find it not that difficult. It's it went surprisingly easy. So, as you can see, you just put the the, the dripper or the dropper here between the inner and outer um, sleeve, whatever of the top portion of the tank or the RTA, and it just kind of flows in. Not the end of the world. I've, I've had easier designs. In fact, TFE4 is my all-time favorite. It just swivels over top fill, but this is the bottom fill. RDTA or RTA. So one thing to think about if you guys are really conscientious about having to 
have quick accessibility to the top and quickly fill. But here, that, that's really all it takes to fill it, as you can see from the close-up. Let's go ahead and uh, have Mac put this together and vape on it. And one thing to keep in mind is even if all the juice doesn't go into the, uh, the juice holes, when you put the, uh, the, the bottom cap on, it's anything, any juice that didn't go into the hole is going to flow right into the deck where it's supposed to be anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And it was easy. I mean, I just filled it right now on camera. There was a little in there, but 30 seconds, you're good. And again, be very careful of this tank. Don't let it sit on the side. Um, maybe I didn't use enough cotton. I'm not sure. But thus far, when I let it sit on the side, it leaks like Edward Snowden. <laughs> Bad Is joke. that too soon? Bad joke. Bad joke. Yeah, just, yeah too soon. He's, he might be facing like a death penalty. That's Yeah, it's too soon. Way too soon. I apologize. All right, let's see. So let's take a vape, shall we? That's solid. How many watts? I am at 40 watts. I'm going to crank it up a little bit. Let's go to 50. Hmm. I'm sure the Claptons can handle it. Seems, oh, wow, that's solid. And I'm using Clapton, so, you know, I, I think the hype train might be real with Clapton's because they, it seems like it takes more power to heat them up, um, much more surface area. So Clapton's in the, uh, in this build, they actually work. Yeah, definitely, definitely. This is my first Clapton's. I've never tried it on... Any of the other products that I have, but uh, it works well in this one. The Aroma Miser. Not Aromizer, Aroma Miser. <laughs> yeah, I was calling it the Aromizer for like two months. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what we're talking about. We do these videos because we get bored. <laughs> we do these videos because we were sitting here vaping and drinking and talking about vaping, and we realized why not just put a camera on this? <laughs> True. <laughs> That's all we were talking about was coils and ohms and wattage and, and shit. Soldering coils. And... <laughs> anyway, it vapes very well. Um, build, ease of use to me is, is a plus. Big deck. It's the velocity deck for all of you velocity fanboys out there. I like the way it looks. The O-ring, to me, the idea, I like the way it looks. It just seems like a cheap afterthought, though. They could have just made it metal. When he says O-ring, he means the adjustable Excuse airflow. Excuse me, yeah, the, uh, the adjustable airflow ring. I think that's just, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's not a deal breaker. But at the same time, how many of us are actually adjusting airflow all the time? I mean, most of us have a set preference and we stick to it. So once you have it set, just leave it alone. Good point, good point. The, the biggest con that set I've seen so far, it. which is to me is a big con, is... If you set the tank on its side, and again, this may be my own build, not using enough cotton at the bottom, but if you set it on its side, because it seems because it's like a, um, it's supposed to mimic a, uh, a, a RDA, a dripper, mm -hmm. because of that, inherently, when you set it on the side, it's just going to leak all over the place. Which we've experienced this week. Yeah. So either it's my lack of cotton usage or it's just inherent in the design. I don't know. But so far, initial impressions, that's a big con for me. Yeah, but think about it this way. You know, if you're setting it up upright and you're baking it out normally and it's not leaking, then I, I don't think that's a bad thing. And I find that when I use extra wick or more cotton, I tend to get, I'm more likely to get a burnt hit True. than using less cotton. So True. if you minimize your cotton with regards to building your, your deck, then you have a better chance of not burning it out and running at higher wattages. And granted, you set it on the side, it leaks out, but I don't really see that as a huge con. The con I see is that it's bottom fill. You have to actually remove it from your mod, or at least unscrew it from your mod, and fill it the way that we showed you. Filling isn't that bad, but again, it's not as simple as like a TFE4 or in fact, uh, the OBS Krius that we did. Yeah, you can just pop top. Yeah, the Krius, the Bellis, top fills, yeah. very easy. But the Billow, I like the Billow. I love the Billow, but it's, the it's a bottom almost fill. identical design in terms of the way you fill it. You have to take the, the bottom off and you fill it through the, you turn it upside down and fill it that way. So, 
So you know, Bilbo's a great tank. Yeah, yeah, Bilbo's a great, a great tank. You know, I have two. Well, I have the clones, but still, I, I think it's a great tank. But at the same time, if you got the bar, you don't really want to get all the juice over you by removing the bottom deck. It's a lot more convenient to take an RTA or an RDTA with you that actually allows for a top build. So when I go out and I vape and I smoke, I take my TFB4 because it swivels out, top build design, very simple, fill it up, good to go. You know, I'll go through 20, 30 mils of juice in a given drinking night. And, uh, you know, if I had to do that with something that I have to unscrew from the deck, that, that would get annoying. And Yeah, it's kind of a, it's either a conversation starter or a conversation ender. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is all that? You decide. Black coil and burnt cotton? Like, what is that? The ladies don't like bottom fill. The ladies don't like bottom fill. <laughs> so top fill for all you players out there. So, again, for me, I think... With, with seeing the vapor production and uh, maybe it's the Clapton coils that are producing the, the flavor that Mac is, is, is those ridiculous clouds obviously happy with uh, I like it yeah I like it this is going to be my, one of my rotations I mean there's cons serious cons but I like the, the tank enough to where I'm going to add it to the rotation and mind you he's coming from the Bellus the MTRTA the uh, the hell was that three? the It's a Rage 3 and 1 Mac has a lot of tanks and for him to say that, that, that kind of holds some credibility. So just think about that whenever you're looking for next, your next purchase. And I've never had a dry hit yet. I mean, to me, that's saying something. You know, in my, my experience, I've never had a dry hit on this yet. Yeah, 50 watts, I don't think the billow would really handle that. I have never, never been able to get the billow up to 50 watts. Yeah, even yeah. short wicking, long wicking, yeah. So, and this deck is more accessible as far as the build. And... Uh, who knows? He did vertical on this one. The billow really doesn't allow for that, as well as a lot of others. So, it, it just works. So, guys, you saw his build. Everything works out well. It's vaping well. Great production. Great flavor. No dry hits. And as long as it's upright, it doesn't leak. So, any closing notes on this? No, I paid you the $5 that I owe you. Yes, I have rent, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm good. <laughs> Another month of filming. <laughs> I'm a I'm a vapor uh, production type guy, so just the fact that it can uh, blow immense clouds that gets my my approval. Yeah, I like it. Minus the uh, the flooding issue and the hex keys. I don't like hex keys. I wish they could do the uh, the velocity deck minus the hex keys. And maybe they're out there. I I don't have any. So that doesn't bother me. You know, a little hex key is a lot easier to carry than a screwdriver. I'm not gonna carry around a screwdriver or a hex key. I just don't like the fact that you need to carry his juice if you're gonna. You know what? Honestly, I I I, I I'm gonna retract my statement. You're Subjective. right. You're gonna build your coils at your house. You're not gonna build your coils at work True. or at the bar. It's not a big deal. Or at church. Yeah, you're right. It's not a big deal. But not be vaping at church. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I'd be vaping at church. <laughs> That's why you don't go to church. <laughs> Touche. Anyway, Touché. so uh, yeah, guys, great tank uh, again. I probably won't get it just because I don't like the bottom fill type setup, but maybe there might be a revision out. Who knows? These guys are coming out with tanks uh, every so often, like every couple of months or something new coming out. So it may come with the V2. We may have to get it. 2.5. Hopefully it'll be a top fill, and it'll change my opinion. But for now, I'm on the fence about it just because of that. So Ian, any uh, profound statements? <laughs> no, nothing too profound today, um, but uh, are we ready to close? Let's so. close. All right, well, uh, like I usually say, don't forget to subscribe and uh, thumbs up. Yep. And thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great night. Y'all have a good one.